Amen. Also, I told them, uh, this just popped to me in the prayer. I did a little research on it last night. We mourn the loss of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And one of the coolest things on the face of this earth was the deep friendship she had with Justice Anton Scalia. Now, if you want to see people on the opposite end of the political spectrum, you would put Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Justice Anton Scalia. She's Jewish, he's Roman Catholic, with nine children. One of them is a Catholic priest in the uh, Washington, D.C. area. He just talked about this friendship that Justice Scalia and Ruth Bader Ginsburg had together. It began long before the Supreme Court. They were on the D.C. Court of Appeals together. And again, they would, I believe they would often cancel each other's votes in how they, how they saw things legally. But they shared a marvelous friendship together. And they even helped each other write their opinions, though they differed again legally. The Lord just quietly is speaking to my heart, saying that there's much we could learn from this friendship, as well as the friendship of Ronald Reagan and Tim O'Neill. <coughs> they would share deep conversations at 11 o'clock at night, privately, though again, they were on the opposite ends of the political spectrum. By the grace of God, there's much we could learn from these friendships, because I believe these friendships are, in large part, what makes our country great. And the absence of such will not make our country great. Help us, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Remember, God and country. Not country and God. Amen. God and country. Help us, Lord. Hey, got a lot of prayer requests. Joyce Cheryl survived an extremely devastating fire. She got out. Now, people are asking me, how did the fire start? And I can give you the most profound answer I know. I don't know. She survived. Got out. The firemen rescued her wallet. The firemen rescued two saves that she had. <clears throat> Everything else is gone. Okay. Uh, she is going to be living in, in the short term. She's had numerous office, uh, offers for housing. She's living with Mike and Lisa Willett in their, in their home. And uh, she's had some short term needs. Our, our church is, is, is seeking the help. Other people are seeking the help. If, if, if anybody wants more info than this, you can, you can speak with me. And many of you already have. We just thank God for God's protection. She was in there 20 years. It's a condominium, and, and, and again, her unit and many other, many other places were, were utterly destroyed through the fire. And um, there was one person, I believe, who was slightly injured, but other than that, there were no injuries. That's a miracle. Amen. Amen. Hey, we continue to pray for Shirley Riker, home from the hospital. Uh, was on the CCU uh, cardiac floor for several days. Uh, Mike Willett continuing prayers. Judy Yerger continues in recovery. Barry Davies continuing prayers. Medical tests appreciates our prayers. <clears throat> Pat and Joe Beach back continues at Harmony Village. Uh, Grace Slaughter back at home on hospice. Her daughter Judy. Tom Gershi also at home on hospice. Reverend Harold Petit, it's good to have Harold and Thelma in the house of the Lord. Harold also got some good news this week <clears throat> regarding his blood test, regarding his mild dysplasia, which he's very thankful for. Uh, continue to pray for Russ and Archie Brown, for Elnora Covell on hospice care, also at home. Uh, Naomi, it's good that Naomi give us a wave. It's good to have you with us in the house of the Lord. Natalie, Good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 Uh, <clears throat> we continue to pray for Sweda and Rich. Continuing prayers for eyesight. John and Shirley. Shirley, I know uh, 
and just continue to pray for them. Shirley appreciates shout outs about the uh, Samaritan shoe boxes, which we're still doing. We did 180 last year. Help us, Jesus. Amen. Continue to pray for Peg Reeve, uh, Matt, uh, Becky, and Eleanor in Oregon. It's getting a little better there, but still need to pray for them. What's going on? And unspoken, yet very serious needs even beyond what I just shared. Any shout outs? Anything? Anybody? Did I miss something? I know I missed many things, but help us, Jesus. God knows. Let's see. All right, John. I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Okay. I still just want to thank the people for continuing to pray because after the healing in my chest, uh, we had to go back to the Maya dysplasia, which was blood transfusions twice a week, needles in the stomach twice a week, and also saline drips <coughs> twice a week. However, the doctor at uh, MD Anderson <coughs> in the cancer center in Camden called and said to Elizabeth, I didn't get the phone fast enough. She said, is your father cheating on his test scores? She said, no, what do you mean? She said, he's perfect with his blood, perfect. Harold, I want to make sure everybody hears what you're saying. Harold went back to his mild dysplasia doctor. The doctor said, Harold, are you cheating on the test? Yeah. Because the doc said it's normal. Yeah. See, we were going to have to go back four months when they left and treated me for that and pick it up. Like I missed four months of treatments, right? Which, uh, instead of getting, I guess, workers, she said it has come up to perfect. All your blood work muscles your platelets, and she said, I don't want to see you no more. She said, everything is perfect, and her word was perfect. Your blood is perfect, and you're exactly where you should be at a man your age. And I said, well, you haven't looked at our bank account. <laughs> We want you, Lord. I want you. We want you more than anything else on the face of this earth. 
We thank you for the promises in your word. We thank you for the sign on Route 130, which tells about your love. Lord, I'm so thankful many people just say, oh, your sign, I read it every week. And Lord, just be with us and guide us with what we put on the sign. May it be your word. May it be your promises. May it change lives. <laughs> we ask this in your name. Oh, Lord, we gathered this morning and we're going we're gonna to learn about another one of your parables, which teaches us great truth in your word. Lord, help us to pay attention to you. And may your good news, may your graciousness, may it change our lives. We love you, we need you. Lord, we pray for our nation, we pray for our president, our vice president, our governor, our, 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 our senators, our congresspersons, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the life of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. We thank you for the dear friendship that she shared with Justice Anton Scalia, a man from Trent, Lord. We thank you for their friendship. And Lord, lead and guide this upcoming late election. Lead us and guide us, Lord. We pray for the Church of Jesus Christ. We love you. Help us, Lord, to be a part of you, Jesus, in what you are doing. You have died. You have risen and are here with us. You are coming again. We especially pray for concerns in our nation, for Joyce, for Shirley, and Joe, for Mike, Lisa, for Judy, for Barry and me, for Pat and Joe, for Grace, for Tom, for Grace and Jimmy, for Reverend Harold and Thelma, we rejoice in his good news, God. For Russ and Archie, for son Dan, for Elmora and Anne, and Keith, Kira, Kevin, whole family, Lord, for Naomi, for Sweden and Rich, for John and Shirley, for Peg, for Matt, Becky, and Eleanor, for unspoken yet very serious needs. Pray for Bishop John and Beverly, for D.S. Hector and his wife, Giselle, for myself and Gwen, <coughs> We know what our needs are, God, and we just we pray for your abundance. Help us to appreciate you, Lord. Help us to pay attention. God, we won't let go until you bless us. And we thank you that you're holding us close. In this COVID-19 pandemic, keep us safe. We pray for your mercy on frontline workers. We pray your mercy on all who have this disease. We pray your healing, God. Help us to learn from this what you want us to learn. And especially those who are having a hard time because of this, we just say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, we ask you, we thank you for forgiveness of our sins. I say this to me, for me, and for everyone here. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon me, a sinner. As you have taught us, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power 